Hi guys! So today is March 26, 2022 and ang ganap today is virtual open house ng Sheridan College which is yung magiging school ko sa Canada. Um, dito sa event na ito, makakakaroon ng mga sessions, ganyan, ng mga podiums. <laughs> Hindi ko masyado sure. Mamaya ako na na-explain pagka nangyayari na siya. Dito ay itatopic yung anong gagawin mo as international student. Anong mga steps na kailangan masundan gawin. Tapos ipapakita rin sa'yo syempre yung school and mga benefits. The event will start in 36 minutes and 14 seconds nung in-screenshot ko to. So, ito yung front page or yung introductory page nung open house. May kita na dyan spring, pero fall ako papasok. Hindi lang siya for spring intakes, pwede rin siya for September intake, or which is the fall intake, yun yung akin. So basically, parang everybody is welcome. Dito mo naman may kita sa panel na to, yung mga pwede mong pasukan, which is stages, kumbaga, na tinatawag nila. Yung student union, dyan may discuss yung mga clubs, events, services na ginagawa mismo sa school na yan. And then dito naman sa student experience, which is yung virtual tour, campus tours. Katulad na sa akin, sa Hazel McCallion Campus ako, tinuwi nila ako doon virtually. Na may mga students din na nagsasalita and professors na nag endorse Ayun, dyan siya. So, dito naman tayo sa next one, which is the personal support worker. Ito yung program ko sa Canada. So, nag-length lang siya for one year, which is two semesters. Four months per semester. So, basically, eight months in total. And then, the starting date would be September and January. Pero yung sa akin is September, kaya fall. Yung campus dyan is HMC, which is his a McCallion campus. Yun yung campus ko. Doon lang ino-offer yung personal support worker na program. Dito naman sa next, is yung mga facilities ng personal support worker. May kita nyo lang dyan din yung mga beds na pwedeng pagdemohan, and then mga rooms, ganyan. Dyan din ata hinuhold yung classes. I'm not that sure yet, pero kwento ko na lang pagka nandun ako. Update ko na lang kayo basically. <laughs> Dito sa Funding Your Future, makikita nyo na may monthly expenses at semester expenses. Itong mga to ay binigay lang as a template para ma-visualize mo kung magkano yung gagastusin mo monthly and semesterly. So, makikita natin dyan kung ano yung magpapagastusan mo o yung mga kailangan mong bayaran. Yung iba naman dyan, siguro hindi mo need, pero at least nilagay nila dyan para in case na need mo sila, ba diba? May background ka na agad. So, sa katulad namin or natin, kung magiging international student ka man, kung may bala ka man, um, necessity talaga na alamin natin kung magkano yung um, need natin every month and every semester, kung ano yung mga needs talaga ha, hindi lang once, 
Pero syempre, kung wala magpo-provide for yourself, kailangan mo din magdagdag ng uh, mas madami pa dyan. So, kailangan natin talaga mag-budget na maayos. Kasi, di ba, mali mo, mag-isa lang tayo doon, if ever. Um, kayanin natin siya. So, let us spend our money wisely. At alamin natin talaga na necessity muna yung mauuna nating babayaran. Dito naman sa portion na to, makikita natin ang awards, scholarships, and bursaries. Awards and bursaries ay based on financial need. Scholarships naman are merit-based. Basically, pagka matataas yung grades mo, pwede ka mag-apply or magkaroon ng scholarship. Hindi ko pa kaya pagbigay ng specific terms or mismo benefits kasi hindi ko pa siya alam at all dahil hindi pa nila masyado pinaliwanag. Pero if ever malaman ko siya, ipapakita ko na lang or sasabihin ko na lang siya on the next vlogs. Dito sa slide na to is just the same nung nauna. Pero itong kasing seminar or webinar na to is specifically for program na PSW. So, andyan lang din yung length. One year, eight months, two sems. Starting date September and January. But will happen on September for me. And then the campus will be at the Hazel McCallion Campus. Dun lang kasi merong PSW program. Next would be the program structure. Dito sa part na ito, I'm not that sure if this still will be implemented. Kasi sabi nila, on September daw, magiging full face-to-face um, -face classes na daw, wala na daw virtual. However, nakalagay dito sa program structure, na sa se semester 1, 7th year classes, some face-to-face -face and some virtual. Yeah, update ko na lang kayo uli, like usual, since hindi pa ako sure. Next naman sa semester number 2, 3 theory classes and 2 placements. 7 weeks na supervised long-term care and 7 weeks na preceptor community placement. Hindi rin ako masyado familiar sa mga terms pero ang mahalaga dito is ang passing grade for theory courses is 50%. For clinical placement naman is successful completion lang. Basically, dapat ang general average mo is greater than 2.0. Para makagraduate ka at makareceive ka ng PSW certificate. During the process ng placement mo, marami rin kasing ina-absorb yung mga company or pinag-OJT-han mo. Basically, um, pwede ka na nalang gawing permanent employee after mo graduate. Well, ito na tayo sa exciting part, which is yung salary. Uh, makikita nyo dito is, ayan, medyo mataas siya. Pero, let us not be masilaw to the pera. Ang onyo! Pero, ayan nga, yan yung minimum niya and not all will give you that. However, that will be um, visualization muna kung magkano yung magiging salary mo dyan. Nakalagay na rin dyan kung saan ka pwede magtrabaho after mo graduate. Di ko na rin po siya iisa-isahin. And then, andyan na rin yung mga companies na nag-hire ng mga graduate ng personal support worker program. Ipapakita lang saglit yung facilities. And that would be the end of my video for today.